Hi everybody, Sailor Earth here, aka Ernest P. Warrell, and today I'm going to do a review on WWE's Table of Ladders and Chairs. Now, the first, now let me go pull the matches out here. Let me go and pull the matches out. Okay. All right. The first match starts out. It was a for uh, Table Lair and Chair kickoff show was Dolph Ziggler versus Fang Dango. And I really enjoyed this match. I mean, this match was really good. There was uh, a lot of good moves going on in this match between Dolph Ziggler and Fang Dango. And I really enjoyed it. And Dolph Ziggler defeated Fang Dango. I mean, Fang Dango defeated Dolph Ziggler. Then. Tables, Lairs, and Chair itself was CM Punk versing The Shield, Dean Ambo, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. Really good uh, three on one match. I mean, this was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed this, you know. <clears throat> and surprise, surprise, there were these, and this match was really good. I liked it. CM Punk defeats The Shield, Seth. Uh, uh, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins. What well, after Roman Reigns screwed up and hit his wrong after he hit his partner. Um, <clears throat> then after that was uh, Natalia Nightheart versus AJ Lee for the WWE Divas Heavyweight Championship. Really good match between these two. I mean, this is a good women's match. Some people uh, opinions will differ, but I really enjoyed it. And it was good. AJ Lee defeats Natalia Nightheart and retains the WWE Divas Heavyweight Championship. Then it was Biggie Langston versus Damian Sandell for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. This was a really good match between Biggie Langston and Damian Sandell. I really felt they worked very well together. Biggie Langston defeats Damian Sandell and retains the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Then it was the tag team match, Gold Dust Cody Rhodes versus Big Show and and Rey Mysterio versus Curtis Axel and and Ryback meeting Dol I mean Jack Flagger and Antonio Sayo, the real North American Americans for the WWE Tag Team Championships. Uh, all the tag teams did very well in this match. Uh, all the tag teams did good. I really enjoyed this match. Uh, Goldust and Cody Rhodes retained the WWE Tag Team Champs over Big Show and Rey Mysterio, Curtis Axel and Ryback, and the Real Americans Jack Flagger and Tony Osar. Then we had a bonus match, one of these ones thrown in, R-Truth versus Brodus Clay. And this is a really good match between R-Truth and Brodus Clay. I really enjoyed it. It was a good one here. Our truth defeats Brodus Clay. Then it was Kopi Keaston versus The Miz. Really good match between Kopi Keaston and The Miz here. Um, really good match. Um, and Kopi Keaston defeats The Miz. Then it was the then there was a segment. This was funny. Uh, it starts out with the Brawling Buddies with Titus O'Neil and Darren Young with both the Brawling Buddies of John Cena and also with The Rock. And then also in comes also in comes in somebody else bringing in Sheamus into the mix and it, it doesn't end there. The little conquistadors come in and the little matadors come in and they add their thing. Next thing you know, the 15th, the 16th general manager of Raw, Brad Maddox, and the attempt to enter SmackDown and Grow come in with, into the mix. And everybody runs off when Kang shows up as a director of operations who grabs Brodus Clay and John Cena's action figure and smacks the John Cena action figure out of the room with Brodus Clay, um, Rumble, Ruff, I mean, Bra Buddy. Really enjoyable. I really like that segment. You know, then it was also Wade. I mean, it was 
Dolph, I mean, it was Daniel Bryan versus Bay Wyatt, Luke Harper and Eric, Rain, Eric Rowan in the Wyatt family. Another really good match. I really enjoyed this. They did a good job in this match. And uh, the Wyatt family, Bay Wyatt, Luke Harper and Eric Roman, Roman, Ronan, defeat Daniel Bryan. Then it was John Cena versus Randy Orton, title for title, champion of champions, and the tables, ladder, and chairs match. Really good match between John Cena and Randy Orton. There were a lot of times in this match you felt John Cena was going to win. And a lot of times this match when you felt Randy Orton was going to win. But at the end, Randy Orton wins and becomes a four-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion and emerging and unifying both belts to become the WWE Unified World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, a really good tables, ladders, and chairs mat, um, event. All the matches were really good, at least that was my opinion. Everybody else's opinions will differ from this, of course. But that's it. I'm Sailor Earth, also Ernest. I'll see you later. Know what I mean?